Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Do you ever dream about a future with self-driving cars, jetpacks, and hoverboards? Well, those actually exist. Yeah, seriously. I often have to remind myself that the future is happening right now. Sometimes I'll watch a marathon of old sci-fi movies from back in the day, and I'll realize that some of their futuristic technology actually exists today in one way or another. What futuristic technology, you might ask? Well, let me show you. Let's start off with the classic portable video chat. This technology appeared in movies such as 2001 A Space Odyssey in 1968, and even The Jetsons in 1968. One attempt to make this technology a reality dates back to 1964, a little after the Jetsons, with the picture phone. This invention was only available for limited calls between Washington, Chicago, and New York, and it cost anywhere from $16 to $27 for a short three-minute call. In 1999, the Kyocera VP210 became one of the first cell phones to offer video calling. Yay for portability! Today, portable video chatting is everywhere. Do you own a smartphone? Well, then you probably have the ability to video chat. Apple first introduced this feature to their iPhone in 2010, and many other apps have been created since then to do the same thing. Do you want to be a cyborg but don't have the time to get that expensive surgery? Well, no problem. Futuristic computer glasses are just for you. Remember Cookie from Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? Well, if not, he basically wore a tiny computer on his glasses. Variations of these glasses were also featured in movies such as Star Trek, X-Men, Time Cop, and even Back to the Future 2. In most cases, these glasses would allow the user to access different visuals and data which could be seen through the lenses. Does this ring a bell? Cough, cough, Google Glass, cough. This kind of technology has been in the works for years. In 2012, the CEO of Oakley stated that they have been working on making a smart glasses product since 1997. In 2013, Google Glass made all this a reality, though. Want to know the directions of that party that's going on tonight? Need to take a picture of that butterfly that just landed on your shoulder? This technology is perfect for candid snapshots and information on the go, and it's only just getting started. Although, some people aren't really happy with it. Is Google Glass not cyborg -y enough for you? Well, bionic limbs are kicking it up a notch. Hey! Pun. Movies such as Star Trek, Star Wars, and The Six Million Dollar Man all featured a character with cyborg-like characteristics. In 2012, a paralyzed woman was able to feed herself by controlling a robotic limb with her mind. How cool is that? While this technology first required wiring to be able to pick up messages from the brain, it has evolved to allow wireless brain control. Today, scientists are improving the design of bionic prosthetics with the use of 3D printing and lighter materials. Speaking of 3D printing, that might be the closest we'll ever get to the super cool Star Trek replicator for now. The sci-fi technology featured in that show would create food and drinks and other items on demand. Today, 3D printers are able to create a variety of things, including food, in a short amount of time in the comfort of your own home. The Zero-G printer of 2014 is the first 3D 3D printer to work in zero gravity. NASA intends to use this to their advantage to print needed tools and even food for their astronauts' consumption. Once again, I'm gonna go print myself a pizza. If you want to know more about 3D printing, we actually made a video about it. You should go check it out. What sci-fi technology do you think will become real next? Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video, and if you want even more Life Noggin, check out these other episodes. I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, and of course, don't forget to keep on thinking.